chatter about this latest season of Love is Blind on Netflix. Have you seen it? The love matching series focuses on a social experiment between men and women. It allows for singles to date in pods. You can hear each other, but you can't see each other. Organizers say this process allows the couples to form emotional bonds rather than connections based solely on physical appearances. This season is based out of Charlotte, bringing potential lovers from our state. One in particular is Charlotte Middle School principal Kenneth Gorham. Not only is he a Charlotte native, he graduated from A&T here in Greensboro. Gorham was in the spotlight before making the show. He is one of the youngest principals in his district. You can see Gorham and the other contestants now in that show on Netflix. All right, tell us about the show, Lauren. Okay, I'm Lauren a huge Love is yep. Blind fan. I actually started watching season six last night. And it's just a great show, especially if you love reality dating shows yeah. and elimination shows. But what makes this so different from the other dating shows is you fall in love without actually seeing the person. So you're right. supposed to fall in love based on who they are internally, not knowing their ethnic background, not knowing what they mm -hmm. look like. So it's a really cool experiment. Do, do they do any follow-ups because I would really be curious to see if they stayed together. They do know. and there are several couples who have stayed together yeah. and there's some who have split. <laughs> um, but it's a really interesting experiment. I know when they were doing casting for Charlotte, some of our friends were like, you should you should audition for yeah. this. And I was like, I don't know about all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's interesting because once you get engaged, you can see each other. That's when you do get yeah. to meet Oh, you then. have to get engaged? Yes, oh, yeah. and no, then you no, have no. to get married on the show. You have to agree to get married on the show, but then at the wedding ceremony, you decide if you want to be with this person or not and it's a binding agreement oh if you decide gosh. to go forward with it and then you honeymoon and then you see a lot of the couples just absolutely fall apart yes but I, I love the idea that you know you're falling in love with a person's heart however I do think physical attraction is something important yes. it in is a relationship. It, it, it is. It is. What we often see is once they get out of the pods and they have an event where they can see everyone who was in the pod, say if you had more than one connection, <laughs> you see your other connection, you're like, uh -huh, uh, that <laughs> person is my type. Yeah. Then you start to pressure. see them flirting with the other people. Yeah. So that's when the drama, you know, the entertainment uh -huh. comes in. So uh, I like it. <laughs> Uh, year after year, even though some people think that it's gotten to the point that people are auditioning so they can get deals fame. and fame. Oh, grow yeah. their TikToks. Yeah, yeah. grow yeah, their yeah. TikToks. I'm still a loyal viewer. I'm a watch. I'm in group chats with my friends. Like, did you see what so-and-so said? I can't believe he told the <laughs> same girl the same thing. Mm -hmm. Those are the dangerous <laughs> ones. That was me last night. <laughs> I've only friend. seen one episode. My <laughs> wife and I wanted to watch it. I yeah. thought it was really interesting, but I don't know if that would hold me for like a season. Right. It's, it's good, and I found out uh, a couple seasons ago that my mom was actually watching. Yeah. I didn't know, and she was like, I don't like that so-and-so character. Yeah. I'm like, you're watching it too. <laughs> so we'll text each other yeah. about the show as well. The thing with these shows, including The Bachelor, Bachelorette, I've heard that they film a lot of it overnight. You mm -hmm. are so sleep deprived, which oh. brings out all the emotion. All the drama. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you're probably acting in a way that you maybe normally would not. Mm -hmm. If you had your, you know, wherewithal, so that's true. Now I did watch The Golden yeah. Bachelor, uh -huh. and I loved it. I, I loved that one, and, and I've never watched a Bachelor or Bachelorette in my life. But my wife and I said, let's watch and see with this older <laughs> and how this works. I just felt like they were more honest, but there was also a little bit of like desperate, you know, oh. feeling because they're old. They were in their 60s, yeah. 70s. I think he yeah. was in his mid 70s, and it was interesting. I just love reality television. <laughs> it's a good escape. We report on crime and destruction all day. Yeah. Sometimes I just needed an escape yeah, true. and just pour myself that into shows like this. All right. So